It's a new beginning. This is a huge opportunity for, for that next generation. My students know what they need. They know what they want. I'm actually excited for the four-year plan because now we have more time and more teachers to help us learn and get the OAA grades and AR test scores up. For all the negativity that the district has had in the past, it's actually a light at the end of the tunnel. Everybody downtown, they make the schools. The kids are the one that go to school. Every voice counts and you're one person, but that one person can change a lot. In the past, our plans were always big on vision and big on goals. We knew what we wanted to do, but we always lacked the tools and the resources to do them. We intend to go through an aggressive inquiry period, uh, lots of community meetings, people who can submit feedback online and through surveys, um, and then we actually intend to report that back and show people what we've learned, what are the uh, common themes and all of that feedback before we make a final plan that we would release in late January. I believe our parents, our students, our staff will be very positive and happy with it as long as we all work together. Hello, I'm Eric Gordon. As Chief Executive Officer of the Cleveland Metropolitan School District, I am grateful to the people of Cleveland, not only for your support of Cleveland's first successful levy in 16 years, but also for the many ways the community is staying engaged in the important work of transforming our schools. This year, a coalition of citizens united around Mayor Frank Jackson's release of the Cleveland Plan. On July 2nd, our hard work and determination led Governor John Kasich to sign the Cleveland Plan into law. In November, when the people of Cleveland passed a levy to support implementing the Cleveland Plan, we made a promise to the community that we will hold ourselves accountable for improving our schools. We intend to keep that promise. As part of that promise, we have released a draft document outlining the strategic actions we intend to take over the next four years in order to meet our goals. When complete, this draft document will be used as a tool for you to hold us accountable for our work in improving our schools and raising achievement to levels members of our community expect and our students deserve. Today, you have a unique opportunity to continue your investment and your engagement by taking time to add your voice to the 33-page draft of our four-year implementation strategy of the Cleveland Plan. As we move aggressively forward to implement the goals of the Cleveland Plan, it is critical that the draft document, when finalized in late January, reflects your voice and your vision so that every neighborhood of our city is represented on the road forward. In addition to the detailed implementation plan draft itself, a tri-fold mailer has been mailed to every resident household in the district, providing a glimpse of the portfolio school's strategy that drives our work. It also provides you an outline of the district's proposed goals for increasing enrollment, improving failing schools or replacing them with higher performing ones, increasing graduation rates, closing achievement gaps, increasing college enrollment, and significantly improving the conditions for learning in all of our schools. Everyone in the district, students, teachers, staff, citizens and families, as well as our philanthropic business, political, nonprofit, higher education and community partners, everyone has a role to play in refining and finalizing the four-year implementation plan. Thank you for taking time to walk through our draft implementation plan document. Please review the goals on page two, the five strategic actions on page 10, and the detailed initiatives in the middle section of the draft. Each requires your careful review and response so that we make this truly a community plan for our schools. When the plan is adopted by the Board of Education in late January, it can and must be one that the community feels a sense of ownership and will support. I am looking forward to reviewing your feedback so that we can make the final version of the four-year plan, one of which we can all be proud. Just as we've joined forces this year to create the conditions needed to put our schools on a path of excellence, 
I am counting on your continued engagement to turn our vision for Cleveland schools into reality. Thank you.